Hey guys, it's like um, five in the morning. Um, I want to talk about what's been going on with my weight loss journey. Um, I did what should have been my last appointment. By the way, okay, I'm doing VSG, which is vertical sleeve gastrectomy to lose weight. Um, I had gained about 100 pounds being at home, taking care of my son who has a congenital heart defect. And I had gotten injured on the job and I gained like 40 pounds from some steroids, 40 to 60 pounds from some steroids that they were shooting me with, but in my arm. Um, I just had to get vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I went to the dietitian. The dietitian was amazing. Um, I've been following the diet. And I'm not talking about, like, a clear liquid diet. I'm talking about just a regular diet, like, changing my eating habits. It's not a diet. It's, like, a lifestyle change. And since November, we're now in March, uh, March 23rd, since November, late November. I want to say it was 20-something of November. Um, <clears throat> I've lost 34 pounds. Yay. Um, I had a couple of... Um, hang-ups as far as not being able to get my surgery. My blood work didn't come out well. I had to go see a specialist. Thank God everything's okay. Um, I have been looking at a lot of videos about um, clear liquid diet because I'll be starting that soon. Um, thank God that my doctor only requires five days before surgery. Not two weeks. Not one week. Five days. Yes. Um, can't wait to get this done and over with. Um, I went to a plastic surgery group session because they have free group sessions like when you're getting ready to do this and was really, really disappointed. Um, let's pray that I won't need plastic surgery, that my skin has more elasticity than most. Um, although with the 34 pounds, it's so funny because I was trying to show somebody the other day and they were like, we don't see it. But this like kind of was hanging right here. My skin on my stomach's already hanging a little bit. Um, so I thought that the insurance would pay for a tummy tuck. Guess what? No. They don't do tummy tuck. They do... Penelectomy. I don't know what it is. But the scar is so much higher, so much uglier, and it leaves your stomach looking a hot mess. I'm talking about a hot mess. I'm talking about all the skin that's hanging over your belly button stays there. Your belly button basically is like drooped and like a flap of skin is over it and they only cut off the bottom half of the skin. They don't detach the belly button and pull and stretch and cut and give you a new belly button, make you look pretty. No, 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 no. They are trying to get away with just making you comfortable and comfortable. I don't know what is comfortable about the scars that they leave. It is horrible. It's horrible horrible and this was a really good plastic surgeon i mean the tummy tucks looked amazing every all her work looked amazing i would not recommend that penec penelectomy or something like that to anybody it was mm -mm, not attractive at all and if i'm gonna lose this weight to look attractive i'm gonna make sure that my scars are attractive and they are hidden um which means I have to get on my hustle right after I have the surgery and look for a really good paying job to start saving money for all the plastic surgery I'm going to need. You think going into this, oh, I'll probably just need a tummy tuck. No, it depends on the elasticity of your skin. Some people need a whole body overhaul like this. Oh, it just did it. You guys, oh, wait. Some people need a neck and facelift because your face starts kind of hanging. Like you get like this stuff and 
and then like if you move it up, ooh, look at that. Okay, so face lift, neck lift. Um, <laughs> women get ready, cause implants are not gonna fix the whole droop boob situation. You need a boob lift and then implants. You can't just do implants because your boobs, your nipples are going to be facing down while your boobs are looking forward. Um, a lower body haul like thighs and hips and um, all the back and all the front, all the skin that's hanging, it's a lot of money. Unless you go to Colombia or Mexico or something like that. And either way, it's still a lot of money. It's about 10000 um, a lower body lift here is $13,000 just for that. $13,000. You're looking at like another seven for your face. Another seven just for the breast lift. That's not including the implants. Um, if you're just doing a tummy tuck instead of a whole body, lower body lift, the tummy tuck I believe is like nine or 10000 Like it's... A lot of freaking money so think about the sacrifice that you're making as far as yes you're looking good in clothes you know if you get a good compression garment you're looking really good in clothes um yeah if you want someone to see you naked that's a different story um I don't know we'll see you know things depending on your elasticity might go very well. Anyways, um, that was just some of the stuff that I want to go over. Highest weight, 301. Current weight, 268. Goal weight is 168. Yeah. So, 100 pounds left. I will do it. I know I will do it. All right, you guys, um, I'll come back with, like, a liquid diet haul. I just wanted to share a little bit of what's been going on so far. I haven't done a video in a real long time. I should have been doing these every week. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if that actually happens. All right, this is Gloria. Be blessed. Take care, and don't be discouraged. You can do this. Bye.